Yo, my name is Benjamin and this is Collision Detection in Framer. So here we have a navigation bar containing a single drop-down menu. This drop-down is a relative overlay. The overlay itself is also a component. So if I double click into this one, you'll see that all rows here also have a relative overlays applied. So each one has its own unique submenu. This release adds support for setting up nested menus like this, where your overlay is a component containing layers also triggering different overlays. If we now give this a preview, you'll see that we indeed have a nested menu. But we're also a bit lucky here in that everything fits. Our submenu just about touches the right side of the viewport. But what if product was one of the last items in our navigation? So I'll move it all the way to the right here. And if we now give this another preview, you'll see that in such cases, your menus would get completely cut off, even without any submenus. With this release, this will no longer happen as all new overlays get collision set to auto by default. For existing overlays, you can find this new property here and set it to auto. And then you can also define how much padding you would like between your menu and the browser when your menu collides. So I went ahead and added collision auto to the submenus as well. And now let's give this another preview. Framer now intelligently repositions our menus and submenus where they would otherwise get clipped. Plus we have added some nice padding here, making sure that our menu doesn't sit completely flush with the browser. And that's pretty much it for this video. For everything else that we added to this release, be sure to check framer.com slash updates. Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned for more updates coming soon.